This week we're learning valuable lessons on uh, severe weather, how to stay safe during severe weather. It yep. is Severe Weather Awareness Week from National Weather Service Houston Galveston. I'm here, mm -hmm. of course, with meteorologist Justin Stapleton to talk about Tornado Day. Yep, Tornado I, Day today. Today. Yes. Uh, Monday was heat. Yep. Yesterday was lightning. Lightning, thunderstorms, thunderstorms is sort of like what you can get with a severe system as it comes through, yeah. Today is Tornado Day. I, I know tornadoes are not necessarily something that all of us had ta had taken seriously sure. up until about two months ago yep. when on January 24th you were live mm -hmm. in extended weather coverage on yep. KPRC 2 plus when you were tracking these storms yep. and one touched down in Houston. Yeah, we actually had uh, we had a series of systems that touched down. In fact, this was kind of the initial rating that we saw on that. That was on the 24th. It actually was meteorologist Caroline Brown. It started in the morning and then I kind of like hopscotched on with her and that's when things really started to fire through. And I'll explain all this coming up here in a bit exactly what that was. If you're saying, well, what am I looking at here? Here's the bottom line. The bottom line was is that we had a system that had become tornadic to the point where it had first touched down towards Pasadena, Zach, up to Deer Park and then eventually over towards the ship channel, right? And, and the, the key to this is, and we'll see the video here in a second, is that we normally don't get these types of tornadoes in terms of the strength and intensity. This was one for the record books, to be yeah. honest with you. This is one, probably the strongest one in my eight years that I've seen here. And we've pulled that tape from that January day, January 24th. Take a listen. So that means folks along Hillshire Drive, if you're from there to Red Bluff Road, you need to take shelter now. Uh, in fact, they actually just extended this and I just got this from the National Weather Service. They're typing up a tornado emergency right now. They're typing up miles per hour. Like we mentioned, this is confirmation right here. The radar does not lie. It's indicating that debris is being thrown up into the air, which would indicate a tornado producing damage. We cannot stress this enough. You need to be moving into your safe place immediately. Justin, I'm watching this right now yeah. and I'm glued to it. What is going through your mind? You're working on your system right here. Yeah. What so, is going through your mind? Well, it, it a couple of different things that you look at. You know, we, we look at different products. What you saw, the two things that you saw there, and there's some of the damage that we saw when we had our crews out there. This is over towards, I believe, Pasadena, um, is that you saw that red and green. What that's called is that was a velocity product. And what that basically is, is that shows inbound and outbound winds towards the radar, right? And so when you get those colors, they get super bright right next to each other. It's an indication that you have a lot of what we call spin or wind shear in the atmosphere. Secondarily, when you saw that really bright color that came Caroline was talking about, that's what's called a correlational coefficient, right? It's like, well, what does that mean? Basically, it's a whole nother language. Right, well, yeah, right. and basically it means it's the radar picking up on things that are in the air that are mm. not water-based, right? So there's debris. debris. Exactly, right, and that's what we looked at when they said they issued a tornado emergency, I believe it was right before then, that video clip where I said to Caroline, because she was over here with our severe weather card, and I said, Caroline, switch over to the correlational coefficient. I want to see what we've got, and we had that I have cold chills right cold there. Chills. Yeah, no, I do too. Still thinking about yeah. it, right? So this is what we got from the National Weather Service. So this is 215 to about 250, right? And the EF rating was an EF3. So that basically put the winds at about 140 miles an hour, which is some of the damage that you've seen. I know that uh, uh, Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley and myself, we were out at Miss Nora's house over yeah. in Pasadena yeah. there um, at, that we had talked about a number of times. Here's the big one too. This was on the ground for 18 miles, mm. right? Normally in this area, when we get touchdowns, there they're very weak. They're brief. They're weak. They kind of move through, and that's it. This wasn't the case. In fact, this is an EF3 tornado. So if you look at that, that's clocking winds anywhere from around 136 to 165 miles an hour. That's enough to do the type of damage that we saw. And in fact, we were seeing things like two by fours and, wow. uh, you know, in the middle of somebody's concrete roofs. Not only that, and the other big indication is some of the damage, and that's how they figure out how strong those winds are. Damage assessment crews go out and they say, what happened out here? We were seeing siding, you know, like, like like metal siding and aluminum that was wrapped around just a tree. Mangled. Right, mangled around a tree. It's one thing if it's just kind of thrown. It's another thing if it's like Rapped, a toddler yeah. takes it and just goes like this right. with a string, right? And that's what we were seeing out there, so. We were uh, on our way to Austin. We were working on a special, mm -hmm. and that night we were coming back. And early that morning, I was called in to do general assignment reporting. Yep. I was reporting from the Pasadena Animal Shelter. Yep, that's Good right. news, all those animals that were impacted from that storm, they have been uh, placed with other shelters and mm -hmm. rescues. So that's really great news, but another place that was just devastated. Yeah, well, it was, and amazingly enough, and, and if you think about as, as strong as this was here, um, that that wouldn't necessarily 
give the kind of outlook that we saw. Animals were okay, right. people were okay. Yeah. Things can be replaced, people's animals can't. Yeah. And thankfully there was none of that there. So, Truly a miracle. Uh, well, I guess we're going to uh, wrap things up here for now. I do want to mention uh, the National Weather Service Houston Galveston Twitter account. This is very active, especially it's yep. active all year long, yep. 365 days a year, 24-7. But uh, right now they are also, of course, uh, updating us on this severe weather awareness week. They will tweet a test tornado warning at 10 o'clock this morning when our schools are all also doing their own tornado safety drills on campus. Uh, so you might want to follow this account if you aren't already. Also, another great way, Justin, to stay safe, as you yep. know, and in the knowing is to download the KPRC2 Severe Weather app. Certainly is. Real quick, if you guys want to come back to me, I've got one more graphic, Zach. I think this yeah, is let's, important let's do one it. that I want to show folks here as well. We always talk about what's the terminology with, terminology with the tornado, right? There's three different things that we see with that. Yes. We have the tornado watches, right? And that's basically just sort of be prepared. Whenever there's a tornado watch, it means that the conditions are favorable that we could see them forming. Doesn't mean they form just yet. Once we get the warning, and that's what we saw on the 24th of January, that means take, this is our action mode, right? When we go into the red, that means you need to take action now. But we told people in Pasadena over towards Ellington Parkway, and I said, you need to get in a safe space right now. Do not delay, go. That means the actual tornado has been spotted either by a spotter, and those spotters are trained by the National Weather Service, by the way, or from the radar. If it's a radar indicator, we will let you know what we see with that. And then, of course, the one that we saw on the 24th was what we call a tornado emergency. And as you can see, that's when it's already doing damage. Basically, it's on the ground, and we're starting to see you know, some damage either to buildings, yeah. homes, you name it, structures. This is a really great illustration. I know oftentimes there's confusion with the watch and the right. warning. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is really a, a great table to yeah. look at. And uh, to I always like to use the taco reference, right? right if you course. have all the ingredients, right. but you haven't put it together, it's a watch. Once that taco is assembled, there you go. There you go. That's your warning. Said it so well.